Hey there, Stuart Bell from Adairi here, and today I wanna to take just two minutes, I wanna run you through tip number 13 in the 100 Ways to Run Your Business Better series, and introduce you to a proven way to lift levels of fee confidence amongst a group of advisors. So, those of you who study psychology and sale of sales and pricing, you probably know something about anchoring. If not, here's the lowdown. Anchoring is a technique, it's got a really interesting evolutionary history, uh, but it has the impact of tying our thinking about what someone something costs or even about what's possible simply through the act of experiencing it, stating it or feeling it. For example, if you ever go into a high-end store, you're often going to see that there's one item in the store uh, that is frankly, it's ludicrously expensive. And the real reason it's there is not to sell, but it's there to make other items look cheaper. That's anchoring. Now we psychologically compare things against whatever else our minds decide is a fair comparator. There's a whole bunch of examples I could wheel out for this, but trust me on this. It's also, for example, why self-employed business clients are generally less fee sensitive than others. And it's because they've been anchored to uh, know what advice actually costs. But here's the other interesting thing. If you're in a group of people, often anchoring has the impact of kind of resetting what's possible. And it's usually based on the most extreme sample within that group. Again, when you mix with high achievers, guess what? You're gonna find yourself naturally anchoring your expectations of uh, what you can do, uh, what you can achieve, where you spend your money, all that sort of stuff to their naturally higher standards. So if you wanna challenge advisors to both price correctly and to get more confident, one of the best ways you can do this is set up a regular pricing committee within your business. And I'm talking about sitting down as an advice team, monthly or every two months to talk about nothing but fees. It's about talking about the clients you had through and how you price them. It's about talking about the clients that signed up and those that didn't. Uh, it's asking, uh, for those who had particularly good outcomes to talk about how they did it. Uh, and if you have a set pricing model, which I, I can't imagine why you wouldn't if you are a multi-planner firm, that's also your opportunity to make sure that as a whole, your team is hitting the fee levels that are gonna make your firm uh, profitable over the long term. So frankly, this is a win-win situation because as a learning experience for your team, uh, it's absolutely gold and you often will get a regular conversation going that will quickly, what it does is it will extinguish those practices that allow channel planners to get challenged by fees and reinforcing those that enable them to uh, be more confident and charge uh, what is appropriate. So look, that's it for the time, uh, time being. Honestly, this is such a simple way to make sure that all the work that you put into designing a pricing model actually get realized. As always, if you like the tip and you haven't downloaded the full ebook, feel free to visit ourdairy.com.au 100 ways and pretty much it's all yours. If you like our stuff, feel free to subscribe to our list and if you really like our stuff, a share via social media is always appreciated. Anyway, until next time, take care. 100 Ways to Build Your Business Better is the new information series from Aldere Coaching and Consulting, a collection of some of the best simple ideas that can be easily adopted but make a big difference to your advice business. To download the full ebook, visit www.aldere.com.au today.